not our empire. Oh, it won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. and beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the reapers that beacon was the only warning we had without it the reapers would have blindsided us right so any other prothean artifact on eden prime could be just as important since the original dig site here contained a warning about the reapers it could be connected to the crucible i'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as i can Possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean. So they found Prothean bodies. The Protheans had powerful stasis technology. That's the only reason any of their artifacts survived intact. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. There, you've got it. Goddess. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardments. Get to your life pod now!
from that. Further adjustments may be necessary. The neutron purge compromised the facility. Clarify. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new pilcher discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Power needs will be triaged appropriately. You will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. How many others? Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Asari. Human. Terrian. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? I prefer Commander. And we did our best with what we knew. Your message wasn't exactly specific. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the Crucible. We've started building it. Crucible? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Thank you for talking with me. 
I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Then welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. 
Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley? Could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid attention to your warnings about the Reapers, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! <laughs> This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark. Cold. Like I was somewhere else. That wasn't me. You did this. No! I'm not a murderer! So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. I see Bryson's point. Anything capable of bringing a Reaper down is worth finding. Despite the potential dangers it could pose, I would agree. But we won't know unless we can find it. Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again... He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But... He could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. 
but sometimes he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <sighs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. Then help us hunt down whatever's responsible. You're our last chance. Okay. If anyone can sort through this mess, it's me. Anne, you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now... it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. At short range, the Queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, Commander. Need a hand? We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes, but this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Anne, I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. I don't like it. But we're out of options. You know better than I do what Leviathan's capable of when threatened. I know it's a long shot, but I have to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. You sure about this? Yes. I'm sure. I'm gonna be right here. Okay. I'm ready. James, drop the containment shield. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something... I feel a chill. Edie? 
no trace yet. Holy hell! Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. No! <laughs> Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you. And the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You are a threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There is no war. There is only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Belay that, Lieutenant. Signal is fading. Maintain connection. We can fight them. We can win this. The cycle cannot be broken. You're wrong. Focusing the point of origin. Maintain connection to narrow the search. I'm stopping this! Back off! Where are you? Where are you? Beyond reach. Trace complete. James! Done! Okay. Yeah. We're good. Shit. Edie, update. You want a sit rep? Are you kidding me? Look at her. I got it, Lieutenant. Edie. We have a location. <sighs> Hang in there. Leviathan coordinates sent to the Normandy, Shepard. I hope it was worth it. It will be. I'm taking her to Med Lab. See you back in the Normandy. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Never seen anything like it. Can't imagine what's waiting for us down there. Reaper killer, assuming Bryson's task force have it right, doesn't look like it wants to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Sure, but now what? Let's suppose it is a Reaper. Is that the kind of help we want? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. Possible? Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Must have been right behind us. Protect the shuttle! Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. What about the Normandy? Joker could swing by. Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. The time's wasted. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Whoa. Uh, hey, Commander. Are you really serious about this plan? We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. 
Take care down there, Commander. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! systems have come online. Life support operational. <laughs> Shutting down all non-vertical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. Something is definitely down there. Keep moving.
but I thought you were real. They are only echoes. We existed long before. Then what are you? Something more. What's happening? Your memories give voice to our words. Your nature will be revealed to us. Accept this. You took down the Reaper. You could help us win this war. Why the hell are you hiding down here? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. Now I have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. Standing in defiance against the Reapers. They perceive you as a threat. And I must understand why. of all these harvests. The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles for greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution its tool. Will it ever end? Intelligence finds what it's looking for. The harvest will continue. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! The cycle will continue. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. We will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. If you release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this, once and for all. there fighting, where you should be. 
is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first, the Apex race. We will survive. And the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. Got you back. How did it go down there? We found it. It's real. And a lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. And it's gonna help fight. <laughs> Sounds like a hell of a story. Yeah. One for the history books. Commander, I finished reading your report. The Alliance wanted more intelligence on the Reapers. I'd say we got it. Our people will be studying it for years to come. They're already calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the Reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. That's one way to look at it. I guess it's the only way. So go out there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. 
For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. We end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. Understood. I'll get the fleets mobilized. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Grab your gear. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, no need to be insulting. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shuttle. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with you. Yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. Hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Same to you. Generals gathered in their masses. Just like witches and black masses. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access 
test their fighter launch control. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. They're not stopping us now! Now in darkness, world stops turning Ashes where the body's burning No more war pigs of the power Overriding safety. The fighter should now go and stop the king of the world. Perfect. Let's get down there. Day of judgment, God is calling. Underneath the war pigs crawling. Begging mercies for the sin. Satan laughing Launching spreads his wings. Hold on to The lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. Edie, can you get past them? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. Let me know when you're through. I am through. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? When the Collectors destroyed the original Normandy, Cerberus recovered your body. Project Lazarus was the code name for the process by which you were reconstructed to fight the Reapers. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. That sounds like more than your basic coma. Looks like. What's that like? You remember anything? No different than any other time I've been knocked out. Just took him a little longer to slap me back into fighting shape. I'm still me. And this? It doesn't change anything. Damn straight, Commander. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. left of it. I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. All those assholes who doubted you. I wish they were here right now. They can come take pictures once we take care of business. Damn straight. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Of course. 
forces en route. They damn well better be. I'm barely broken the sweat. This is it. Stay sharp, everyone. the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair's about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst? Yes. I've given you every chance to listen to reason. Cerberus is done. And so are you. Once again, you fail to recognize the truth. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body. But instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online. Security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat. But don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes. I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the Crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper control space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. 
The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me hacked. Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Stop. It is too late. I recommend investing. I'll stop. I assume you've heard about the Citadel. Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but... It looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now, we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out.
priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Pack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans alive and dead to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. And I thought uniting every species in the galaxy was a challenge. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. Approaching Soul Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds.
careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell? Take a look for yourself. Doesn't look like home anymore. Shit, we got a lock. Hold on. Damn it. Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. With what? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. This is gonna be hell! Careful, Cortez. Damn it, I'm hit! Steve! I'm all right. You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. There's the shuttle. Keep an eye out for the heavy weapon. Personnel in the vicinity?
Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Admiral! I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take up the fight. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Admiral, we've set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. Commander? Admiral? Just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Less than 40% of Hammer has reported in. Tell me there's more coming. There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here, but now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here. If we get close enough, we've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us, but there can be no retreat, no stepping back. 
We move forward at all costs. Understood? Who oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. Shepard, I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. I need you for the final push to the beam.
Hang in there, soldier. Heads up, we've got more incoming. Shit, we better cover our left flank. the truck people. Didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Great. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Reapers leaving the battle. We've got to give 
straight shot. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. That all. We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Bad odds are better than no chance at all. Odds don't matter anymore. This fight has always been ours to finish. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it. with me, James. I can still fight. Ugh. Just give me my gun. You're in no condition to keep fighting. Get to the med bay. I don't think so. That's an order, Lieutenant. Go!
this is the Admiral. We've got reports that someone made it to the Citadel. We need to give them time to get those arms open. All fleets converge on the Crucible. Protect it at all costs. Anderson, you up here too? I followed you up, but we didn't come out the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surrounding look like? <sighs> you okay? I feel like death. But I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a Reaper in here? Oh. Sure. And they round them up on Earth? Then send the people up here to be processed. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. Whoa. Anderson? One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. There's a chasm here. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. Don't get too far ahead of me. Where do you think you're at? Just found that chasm we were talking about. Hold on. I see something. A control panel, maybe. I'm just gonna go on. Anderson! Damn it. Anderson. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers, and of you, if necessary. Mm. They're controlling you. I don't think so, Admiral. Let me destroy the Reapers. Still not a believer, Shepard? When humanity discovered the mass relay, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined. 
There were some who thought the relay should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Uh, uh, only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. We have the Crucible. We can stop them. No. There's only one way to use the Crucible effectively. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers. And I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they wield. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? Even if you could control them, they wouldn't let you. You're wrong! I can still... You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated! No! No! The two of you so self-righteous! Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices! You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... It's not too late. Let us go. We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. You... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't let that happen. You're nothing more than the Reaper's plaything now. Now! You're the one who failed! You could see it like I do, Shepard. It's so uh, perfect. This is it, everyone.
evasive maneuvers.
the war is over. The Reapers have been defeated. Against all odds, and in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged. But we won. This victory belongs to each of us. Every man, woman, and child. Every civilization. On every world. Now, as we take our first steps toward restoring what we lost, we must remember what it took to win. This wasn't a victory by a single fleet, a single army, or even a single species. this war has taught us anything, it is that we are at our strongest when we work together. And if we can put down our grievances long enough to stop something as powerful as the Reapers, imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time, but we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this and more. Together we can build a future greater than any one of us could imagine. A future paid for by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. A future that many will never see. While we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. As I reach for a peach, slide a ride down behind a sulfur in central pain. Breaking a stick with a brick on the sand, riding a wave in the wake of an old sedan. Sleeping alone in the drone of the darkness, scratched by the sand that. Sooner than we fall, I'm breaking the weather. 
the sea.